India and Tantra. The cannabis plant was used in tantric sex and yoga practices associated with the goddess Kali, recorded as early as 700 CE, to achieve a spiritual and sexual awakening. The Kama Sutra was written in 200 to 300 CE. Hinduism knew the importance of sexual health and its benefits on the body, mind, and soul. The Viking goddess Freya. Hemp can be grown in tropical or temperate climates, so it's grown in almost every country in the world. The Vikings grew hemp for fiber and medicinal purposes. The Viking goddess Freya used hemp seeds as a symbolism of sowing seeds for abundant harvest crops, and hemp seeds were also a symbol of fertility, representing fertile, fruitful, productive outcomes in the soil and for the tribe to procreate. She was known to have made Wiccan hemp sex potion. Cannabis has been used in Africa for erectile dysfunction, ED, for thousands of years. Africa has been using cannabis and marijuana as medicine for thousands of years for pain, disease, and sexual issues. Eastern Europeans cooked a happy porridge, which consisted of almond butter mixed with hash heesh, dried rose leaves, daisy root, carnation petals, crocus bulb, nutmeg, cardamom, honey, and sugar. Apparently, this mixture was considered the luxury cannabis product of its time and sought out by men who believed it to be the strongest aphrodisiac. It sounds delicious. Every human and all vertebrates have an endocannabinoid system in their body. When the body is low on cannabinoids, it will become out of balance, a homeostasis imbalance. It needs cannabinoids to bring the body back into balance. Cannabis, CBD, and THC, and CBD hemp seed oil, 500 milligrams or greater, have the highest level of cannabinoids. Consuming these phytocannabinoids from cannabis or hemp will lock onto the neurotransmitter key and homeostasis balance will occur. This will promote greater health and vitality in your body. Other foods that contain trace amounts of phytocannabinoids are hemp seeds, black pepper, cloves, cruciferous vegetables such as cauliflower, Brussels sprouts and broccoli, herbs, echinacea, panax ginseng, and current research is done, being done on black truffles and chocolate. Many people, including myself, report that cannabis works as a libido enhancer. It arouses your senses and breaks down your inhibitions and makes you downright horny. Vasodilators like pharmaceutical Viagra will give a man an erection by increasing blood flow to the penis. However, as users report, it does not stimulate their libido or desire to have sex. Research is being done now if cannabis has vasodilator properties. It makes sense that it does, as your eyes redden due to the vasodilation of the blood vessels in your eyes. One could come to the assumption it would work on other areas of your body, such as your penis or clitoris. Losing your mojo happens to everyone over their lifetime. It could be stress-related or physical health issues. However, it happens especially as we age. Cannabis either inhaled, ingested, both CBD and THC have been found to increase the libido in many users. Many sex experts believe it's because it relaxes the users and they can fully engage and enjoy the moment. Touch is heightened with the high of cannabis. CBD taken before sex can decrease aches and pains, which can inhibit a partner from completely relaxing. Hard to perform wild lit sex with a sore back or arthritis knees. Researchers have discovered that the hormone oxytocin stimulates the endocannabinoid system, increasing the neurotransmitter anandamide. The word anandamide is taken from the Sanskrit word ananda, which means joy, bliss, delight. So you really want this neurotransmitter to increase and become quicker, stronger, pumping those neurons full of anandamide. The increase produces a rapid transmission rate in the neurotransmitters and increases the transmission of oxytocin throughout the body. Oxytocin plays a huge role in sexual health, such as social bonding, sexual reproduction, and childbirth. Science is darn sexy. I get aroused reading that. How can you get your sexy on? You can smoke, vape, or ingest cannabis to get those phytocannabinoids absorbed in your body. Always consume responsibly, as if you overdo the THC, you can just get sleepy, and no one wants their lit lover snoozing off. New topical THC products made from THC-infused coconut butter or coconut oil are applied topically to the clitoris to stimulate the blood flow and increase arousal approximately 15 minutes after application. Many report a stronger, intense orgasm. I've tried it, and it worked for me. Oh, yes, 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 it was very intense. 
Bring your bud to the boudoir. New cannabis arousal products are available now. If you have a medical cannabis prescription, Spectrum Tweed has Foria, a U.S. company that has produced a line of cannabis intimate products. Other companies that are producing intimate cannabis products are Miss Envy out of Vancouver and Dew out of California. Dew out of California has a great product line, but they currently can't ship to Canada. You'd have to go on a road trip to California, camping on the beach, puffing some sensual strains, watching the waves roll in, kiss your toes with that cool Cali foam to get some dew on your lily. That's just an out loud fantasy. <sighs> you can make your own boudoir butter. You just need to go to YouTube and look for cannabis infused coconut butter. There's a crock pot method, a magic butter machine, mason jar techniques. If you just search can of butter or cannabis butter, cannabis oil infusions, you'll have a plethora of choices. Apply a pea-sized amount of the infused THC coconut oil or butter to the clitoris, nipples, end of the penis, and inner thighs. It can also be used around the anus and in the anal canal for anal sex or bum play. There are no issues with oil in this area. Warning, as a medical professional, I encourage women not to use large amounts of oil products in their vagina. This recipe is to be applied outside the vagina to the clitoris. Oil products change the pH balance in the vagina, the flora, and fauna. When pH is out of balance, conditions can occur such as yeast infection, bacterial vaginosis, and vaginitis. Please consult a physician if you have any concerns and discontinue using the product. Coconut oil also breaks down latex condoms and can lead to condoms breaking easier. Tantalizing terps and sensual strains. Limonene is that beautiful citrusy smell that elevates your mood and relieves stress. And those are two great things that set the stage for great sex. Elevated mood and less stress. Those are pretty important components of fun, a fun, sexy time. Linolol technically is a terpenoid and has similar effects to limonene. It's relaxing and great for stress relief. More strains are being created to enhance the libido. However, as this is such a new concept for most, there is, a lim there is limited information in regards to this. Some sexy strains are Kinky Kush by Liv and Tangerine Dream by San Rafael 71. And more strains are being created. A bougie tip is try different strains and note the ones that create an arousal. We are all different and what works for some may not work on others. Sex Pot, Boudoir Bud, Lit Lovers, Oh My. As we learn more about the benefits of cannabis on the human body and more about the endocannabinoid system all humans and vertebrates have, we're also learning of the multiple benefits of consuming cannabinoids for health and wellness. I'm excited and aroused to learn more about the effects of cannabis on sexual health, as I am of the opinion we need more love and afternoon delights in our life. <laughs> Thank you.